After you left, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said, you know? Like, how will Dante react if he finds out you had an abortion? And? I'm just afraid I gave you the wrong advice. That's why I wanted to talk to you. I mean, the bottom line is, you're right, this will be a big deal for Dante. The more I think about it, Lulu, this could be a deal breaker. If Olivia didn't keep her baby and raise him, Dante wouldn't even be here. So it only makes sense that Dante would be opposed to abortion. And not that, you know, you made a bad choice. I mean, your situation is completely different. You made the choice that was right for you at the time. I'm just afraid Dante's not going to see it that way. Oh, you're just, you're saying what I already know in my heart. I gotta tell Dante the truth. Anything, so I didn't. I mean, your dad thinks that you got the bruises from a guard. Oh. Well, I hate his prison. The guards don't like people with the last name Corinthos. So. What else did you talk about? Uh, your dad said he's trying to get you out of here as soon as he can. So you just talked about me the entire time? Well, we talked about business you know we, we have a few problems with johnny right now and you can't deal with it because you're in here <sighs> so not only am i messing up your personal life with sam business is taking a hit too <laughs> sorry This is your fault. And just so you know, I do not regret my decision. This is where I have to be until we can figure a way to get you out of here. Tell me how the schedule works in here. You don't remember from last time? No, last time they, they had me in this special holding cell while I was waiting for, for my trial. I never made it out to general population. wake up at 5 a.m. and the lights come on all at once. It's like pitch black to high noon. Yeah. And a loud voice comes over the speakers, tells us to get up like immediately and make our beds and get dressed. We have five minutes to eat and we get yard time, you know, two hours in the morning and then in the afternoon and um, after lunch we Get split up into work crews. We do like laundry, we do dishes, and um, oh yeah, bathroom duty, which sucks. It's the worst, it's uh, that's nasty. What about free time? Yeah, um, after dinner, they leave the cell doors open. They, 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 uh, they close the cell doors that night and nobody's supposed to be able to get in. Um, hey. Hey. Uh, you know, Claire came by earlier. Uh, she told me that Jason is now officially in Pentonville with Michael. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to get used to that. Sorry about all this. I know you are. Well, the paperwork is all going forward with Morgan's adoption, so. Okay, good. I'm glad. Ready for that to be settled. Yeah. And when it's when it's done, then what? Then you become Morgan's legal father, and I guess. I guess we move forward with our divorce. Me and your mom and... I mean, all of us... We were hoping that 
you would have a different life. You know, a better one. I mean, I never, I never thought you'd be in a place like this. So I never taught you the skills that you need to survive. I know how to fight. I know, I'm Michael. I know you, you, you've hit people. You've been hit. But this, this is a whole different ball game here. Okay, obviously these people are here. Hey, they're here for a reason. Okay, if they didn't know how to fight when they got here, they know how to fight now. So I'm going to teach you a few things to help you defend yourself so the person not only can't get up, but you hurt them so bad they don't want to get up. Okay, um, I'm in. I mean, I'm a little surprised, though. Why? Why, I figured you want me to lay low. I'll stay out of your way while you do all you're protecting, like you always do. Uh, you're not a kid anymore. We'll start tomorrow. Use this helps to prop yourself up and off your ribs. Thanks. <sighs> You're gonna make it through this, Michael. We're gonna get you released and you're gonna be okay. Excited to see him. Was he wondering what you were doing in town? Mm -hmm. I told him I needed a change of scenery. I was visiting friends and family, and he bought it. Great. Carly, you did not tell me that Dante and Lulu are in love. I know this guy. It is going to take so much to get him to cheat, okay? I'm not saying he won't, because of course in the end he's still a man, but it's going to take a lot longer than we talked about. Let's review, shall we? You have credit card debt that you can't pay. Your parents aren't going to bail you out. Hell, they're not even on this continent. You can't touch the quarter-made trust fund money until you're 30 years old. Did I leave anything out? I will do what you want, okay? I'm more than happy to give you a little incentive. You get Dante into bed, you take pictures, take a video. There's a $50,000 bonus check with your name on it. 